Pinny the Goat Nanny, a true story of a little pig with a big heart by Leanne Larisha, illustrated by Jill Howarth. This is a story of a piglet named Pinny. Pinny was adopted in the summer when the skies were their bluest and the weather was perfect for sprung in the cool grass. When he was young, Pinny was small, striped and round. He could almost be mistaken for a watermelon. The little pig spent his days splashing in the sun and his nights bundled up in bed. He was happy in his new home. Pinny was curious about the other animals on the farm. There were chickens, goats, a pony, and a donkey. Everyone looked so busy. Penny's mom said that everyone on the farm had a job. The chickens ate the bugs and the goats chomped up the weeds. The pony was in charge of eating the grass. He kept it nice and short. The donkey's job was to chase the pony around. He helped the pony exercise after eating all the grass. Penny wanted his own job, but what could he do around the house? The pig tried helping in the kitchen, but his mom said, no, Penny. Then Penny tried to help clean, but his mom didn't let him do that either. She told Penny that one day he would have a job, but for now he should just enjoy being a piglet. Months passed and Penny grew bigger. He even lost his cute watermelon stripes. One afternoon he woke to find a baby goat nearby. The little goat was crying softly. Penny scooted closer to the goat. The crying softened. He moved even closer, curling up right next to the baby goat. The crying stopped completely. The little goat's name was Prospect. Over the next few weeks, Prospect began to feel better and Penny kept him company. Penny snuggled with Prospect, keeping him warm by the fire. He taught the little goat how to eat hay and drink water from a bowl. Prospect was tiny but tough. With Penny's help, he grew feisty and strong. One day, their mom said it was time for Prospect to move outside and live with the other goats. Together, Penny and his mom watched the little goat join the others and begin to play. Penny shuffled back to the fire. He wished he were a goat. Penny wanted to sleep outside with Prospect. But he got a happy surprise when he woke from his nap. Two baby goats. One was a boy named Chibs and the other was a girl named Layla. Chibs had something wrong with his legs. They were all curled up and looked funny. Lila, Lila only had three legs. The baby goats cried and Piney moved closer. They cried again and he snuggled up next to them. After a few moments, the crying stopped. Penny taught the little goats everything. He helped Chibs as his legs slowly strengthened. He taught Lila how to walk on only three legs. Soon, she was just as fast as the other goats. Before long, it was time for Chibs and Lila to live um, with the animals outside. Again, Piney, Piney watched as the two little goats left and joined the others. This time, Piney didn't feel sad. He felt proud. He realized that this was his job. He took care of baby goats. He comforted them and taught them how to be strong. Piney had the most important job of all. He was a goat nanny. Piney couldn't wait to take his nap. He hoped that when he woke, there would be another baby goat to care for. He fell asleep with a big smile across his, across his snout. When Piney woke from his nap, he saw a baby goat named Angel. She was missing her two back legs and looked very nervous. Piney snuggled close to Angel. He nudged her with his snout and said, Don't worry, little goat. I'll take care of you. The end.